welcome to Alcatraz Island. We're gonna be getting started momentarily for the formerly incarcerated speaker series. Alcatraz is one of the only sites in the National Park Service and, and in the United States that really kind of interprets the history of mass incarceration. We are not here to glorify prison. We're not here to talk about all the horror stuff that movies talk about in prison. We're here to talk about the humanity of the individuals who have been incarcerated. Now, one of the challenges I had uh, in preparing for this discussion was deciding exactly how much to share and how much not to. I just want to know, first of all, how you escaped from prison. Okay, well, uh, quick questions for how to escape real fast. That's, that's one. That's a, yeah, I got mixed up in the wrong crowd, met some people, I met a boy. <laughs> I met a boy. <laughs> He was not a man, he was a boy. As an 18-year-old boy standing in front of a judge and being told that you're going to die in prison. Because at the time I was sentenced, California did not release lifers. Life literally meant life. Multiple governors were on record saying that lifers would leave prison in a body bag. And uh, that was just how California operated. Every time I walked in the cell, it literally felt like I was walking in a coffin. In a six by nine, my arms can stretch to the walls. I'm claustrophobic in this cell. I seek the light and it calls. I climb and I crawl, but it seems to be no way of escape. So now I walk in circles of darkness as I tremble and shake. Lord, give me a break. I see crosses burning in bodies of flesh. Is this purgatory? And if it is, Am I passing my test? Cause I'm beaten, I'm stressed. I was supposed to get the death penalty, but I got sentenced. I, I, I found my case for five years and I ended up getting 31 years. And I only did 16 of that because of the changes in law and I was able to show that I'm a different person. I had to work on myself. The guilt and shame weighed me down. It hurt. And I'm before people fighting for my life for freedom to get a chance to be with my family again, a chance to make things right. That's what leads me to doing things like this and talking with you to let them know that there is a different way to go. I used to live out of strap. We'd rob to get hot. But now I, I fall to my knees and I raise my hands to the sky. Give me the strength to breathe and make it by. I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for sharing your truth. Um, I think it's very brave to be up there and um, you're giving back in a lot of ways. So thank you. Right. Hey, could we give another round of applause for the National Park Service for supporting us? Thank you.